Steve, what's the plan? It's hot. It's definitely hot. We haven't considered this uh, thoroughly in our plans for walking. It takes a lot more out of you, drains the water a lot faster. Shins are hurting, but all of our best plans usually begin with fear. So that's what we're going to do. Day nine, Steve. What's the plan for the day? <laughs> this is what he does to make me stop singing <laughs> to shut up. It's mean. It's quite rude, actually. Um, we're going to go get some coffee, a little food for me, so we can take some ibuprofen. We have a 13.2 mile hike flat. It's going to be nice. It's going to be good. We might tack on a little bit more so we can make up an additional day, but uh, we'll play that by ear and how we're feeling. Steve hit the nail on the head. Should be a pretty flat. Easy day with our average pace, probably be pulling into town around noon. And after that, we might try to make up some money, get another extra town or so, so we'll see. It's been a rough morning so far. No coffee, no breakfast for Steve. No ibuprofen. I saw a sign and I said, don't look at the sign. I looked at the sign. The next few towns are 2.5. They're three kilometers away. And I said, I started crying and I said, there's gonna be hope exists. Cody says, how do you know that? And I said, because I saw it written in the letters of hope. <laughs> the biggest worry for the day. My freeze to death? Yeah, it is it's cold. Up. Yep, it's cold. Probably cold say the trip so far. Well, right now, biggest motivation is warm coffee. I'll let you guys know when we get there. It's warming up a little. I haven't gotten coffee yet. Steve's speeding ahead. You can't even see him. Coffee soon, hopefully. Mountains. But this is what Steve's really going for. We got a town. And up in the town lies coffee. Almost there. Something tells me Steve is going to be at this little bar here. I know he wants some coffee. It's gotta be here somewhere. Uh, we're thinking of already about like continue walking up to Santo Domingo. Go for a long This is incredible. The water treaty of 2018 has taken full effect. I now have all of the water sources on me. This is this is as a tribute. A tribute to Steve. We're seeing what happens. I feel great now. I didn't even know that I could feel this way. The fact is, Cody's been feeling this way the entire time. Up ahead of me is Al. Up ahead of Al is Steve. In the distance, you can see where we're walking. And that way up there might be a town. Big old, big old, big old haystack. Big old stack of hay. Pretty much been the scenery so for the last four days or so. Much becoming wash, rinse, repeat. Wash, rinse, repeat. But just between you and me, today is slightly harder because I am carrying all of the water. I put most of the weight on my hips, so right now my butt is on fire. I hope Steve way on yonder is enjoying his newfound freedom. Made it to the top of the hill. Steve, what are your thoughts right now? How are you doing? Not bad. When the ibuprofen kicks in, I'm good to go. It's in another mode? Yeah. Steve the pirate, you heard it here first. You'll see a lot of towns on the Camino, a lot of villages, a lot of cities. This one, right before Santo Domingo, looks like it was built and never used very recently. It's kind of the creepy part about doing it October, is you come to a lot of these places that look like some sort of virus went through the town and everyone left. Pre-modern Van Gogh, I don't know what does. Photobomb! And that's Steve. I've been hiking with him. And just like that, right on time, 
Santo Domingo, which is Spanish for Saint Domingo. <laughs> You're gonna get a three stage photo here. Okay, I got one. Got another one. Got it. <laughs> so we're in the city of Santo Domingo now. And we promised our Hungary friend. No, he's not Hungary. He's from Hungary. We promised him that we'd get a beer with him. But he's quite a ways back. So we're trying to get to the cathedral and then try to figure out a way to meet him for the beer. These are the kind of desserts you can expect on told, the Camino. We told ourselves we weren't going to overeat, so we could go ahead and walk another four to six miles. Yep. It's three, gonna be sluggish. Three course meal including this for under 10 euros. That also included a bottle of wine. Cannot beat it. So we left the city. It's about an hour to get to the first one, maybe a little more. Another hour after that to get to the second city, so total six miles from Santiago. We're trying to make up time, trying to make use of it being a relatively easy day, trying to get makeup days, thinking about ways to reward ourselves if we kick it into another gear. So once again, unfortunately, Steve and I have apparently made a wrong turn. Luckily a farmer is telling us to go back and it doesn't seem like we've been going the wrong way for too far. But it is confusing because I thought we did a pretty good job following the arrows. Something's not matching up, but we'll get to the bottom of it. We did make a mistake. I'd like to take this time now to thank all the local farmers on this trip that have steered Steve and I in the correct direction along with uh, just helpful passerbys. And it's always been very quickly after we made the wrong turn. If anyone's ever wondering, are people nice towards pilgrims doing the Camino? Or as Steve would say, Pellegrinos doing the Camino? The answer is yes, they're extremely nice. Well, we made it to Granin. The first city outside of Santo Domingo. Steve, what's the plan? It's hot. It's definitely hot. We haven't considered this uh, thoroughly in our plans for walking. It takes a lot more out of you, drains the water a lot faster. So we're thinking we're going to find a place to get a good, good cold beer, uh, figure out if we want to stay here or if we want to push the additional two miles once the heat breaks and uh, the sun starts going on its way down. And that'll uh, let us refresh, recuperate, hydrate. Um, yeah, and then we'll have hit uh, 19 miles a day if we decide to push on. Shins are hurting, but all of our best plans usually begin with fear. So that's what we're gonna do. Three, uh...